Hi, my name's Steve Redpath, Trangeo Engineering, an approved sitting guild and EAL training centre for electrotechnical courses. Um, this video will demonstrate how we um, carry out an insulation resistance test on electrical installation. So we have here a demonstration uh, installation with four circuits, uh, a ring circuit, two-way lighting, radial socket and a cooker switch and we're going to carry out an insulation test um, and before we carry out the test we need to ensure that all loads are removed um, all the switches are in the on position where possible um, and in this case we have a, a neon light in the cooker so we leave the switch in this case in the off position we should also be aware of any equipment that's vulnerable to this test for example any electronic or sensitive equipment in this case we have an RCD uh, protecting two of the circuits so we need to make sure we don't apply 500 volts across this otherwise it may cause damage. So in this case we either isolate the item or uh, we're going to turn off the breakers and test downstream of the breakers so the 500 volts isn't applied to the RCD. So to carry out this test we use an insulation resistance tester and as we're testing LV circuits, the wiring regulations, BSM671, stipulate we need to apply 500 volts DC between live uh, circuits, which in this case is line and neutral, and between line and uh, live circuits and earth. So we're going to apply the voltages in the consumer unit to all the respective circuits. So first of all we need to check that the instrument is uh, calibrated, not damaged, the batteries are fully charged. In this case the probe tips should comply with GS38. Uh, for convenience um, I'm going to leave the shrouds off. However the uh, leads should be insulated, uh, finger guards and so on. To prove the instrument's working then we should initially hold the probes together making sure our fingers aren't touching the probes to ensure there's no breaks in the conductors. We apply the test voltage across the probes and our meter is indicating that we have a, a dead short, zero uh, ohms. We then pull the probes apart, test again, and then we can see that the instrument is giving us maximum um, resistance, in this case greater than 1000 mega ohms. So now we know that the instrument's working, we can apply the voltages to the circuits in the installation. So we have to test live to live, we have four circuits. So in this case we're going to go on circuit one from the line conductor across to the corresponding neutral conductor. So we're now testing line to line, we apply 500 volts and if there's no faults on there, we apply the voltage and we see that there's greater than 1000 meg. So there's no insulation breakdown between those conductors and on those circuits. We then, uh, from live to line to neutral, we then move the probe across to line to earth. We carry out the same test. Again, the meter indicates it's greater than 1000 mega ohms, so we have no insulation problems there. And then finally, we go live to earth, in this case, line to neutral to earth across there. And again, that's indicating greater than 1,000. So the insulation on that first circuit is um, all OK. We then repeat the test for the remaining circuits. So first of all, line to neutral. All OK there. Line to earth. All OK there. And We've already done neutral on the previous, neutral to earth on the previous test. So we move on then to the third circuit. In this case, we move on to this neutral bar here because it's a split board. And we press test. And in this case, we're testing the lighting circuit. So we need to make sure that we test both strappers in the lighting circuit. So we change position and repeat the test. Okay, so line to neutral and line to earth and again we just repeat the test with the switches in the opposite positions 
and each time we check that the resistance in, is greater than one mega ohm, which is specified by the, the wiring rigs. So that circuit's OK. Finally, we move on to the fourth circuit, which is line to neutral again on this circuit. And there. And then move across to line to earth. OK. And then finally, we do line to neutral. Earth to neutral, sorry. And again, we're OK there with greater than one mega. OK, so that proves that the insulation on all of those four circuits is sound. There's no breakdown, no short circuits, low resistances. They're all greater than one mega. So that circuit is now, those circuits are tested. Um, so that completes the video. Uh, if you want to know more about our training centre or see other videos on test procedures, please visit the website www.trans-euro.co.uk.